All right, everyone. Thanks for joining us on this uh, call board meeting on March 17th, 2024. Our, uh, here's a real quick overview of our meeting agenda. Let's move right into call to order and roll call. Perry, would you call the roll, please? Yes, sir. Joe Plunk. Here. Jim Martin. Here. John Reiners. Here. Mary Jean Hall. Here. Joe Lowenthal. Here. Mike Harrison. Mike Harrison. Here. All right. I'll take that as a yes, Mike. We do have a quorum. Fantastic. Uh, appreciate that, Perry. Um, let's go into, uh, here is the uh, agenda that I'd like to talk through it. We've got some new business, old business, board member reports, open topics, and a real quick closing if needed. Um, new business, um, I'd like to just make sure and take a real quick second and, uh, and just ask the board, um, as a board, if we have any conversations in public, in a public forum or in a public setting, uh, that we really not bring or uh, talk about our uh, the past week's events other than just the facts of what happened. The board censured the president, and the board decided to remove the the the, uh, the president uh, based on that censure and leave the comments at that and uh, direct any members to uh, an out of a public forum into a more of a one on one uh, conversation. So, any questions or concerns about that? Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, I want to, uh, real quick, before we jump into the minutes of the past board meeting, I want to jump down real quick. Um, and I would like uh, to move to appoint Scott Adams as director of meetings and special events uh, to fill it. that open position. I second. All right. Uh, all in favor of that, please indicate aye. 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 Any opposed? All right. The motion does carry to appoint Scott Adams as director of meetings and special events. Welcome back, Scott. Thank you. Woo all right. Uh, let's move now to reviewing minutes of a past board meeting. Uh, Perry, do you have minutes uh, prepared? I do. Okay, uh, let me stop sharing for a second and let you steal the share. Computer challenge start. Aren't we all? All right, I don't, it says host disabled participant screen sharing. I guess that means that I'm on, let's see. Uh, that means I got to figure out where the magic button is and uh, allow sharing. Uh, it's under security, uh, Joe. Yes, sir. It's probably the top line in security. In the security menu. Joe Lowenthal knows because I have to ask him every, every Aries meeting. All right, Perry, try again, please. All right. Thank you. There we go. All right, I did send everyone this afternoon. You may not have gotten it yet. I think I sent it to you within the last hour. Uh, my draft of the uh, minutes of the last board meeting. There are some things in red that I wanted to go back and listen to again or either uh, ask anyone if they had any uh, input on it. Um, but you should have received this uh, hopefully receive this from me in your email this afternoon, probably an hour or so ago. I received it. I received it. Yep. I did as well. All right. Good deal. So uh, would you like for me to read them, Joe, or um, maybe wait until um, you have a chance to look at them or... I have not, I apologize, I have not had a chance to review those real quick. If we could just review them real quick. Sure. We just do that. Absolutely. Um, I 
I did not have a time for when the meeting began. And if, uh, if the board feels that the time of it was important, uh, Steve Frazier and I said we might be able to go back and watch some of his recordings and look. I, I don't personally think that that's a requirement, but if people would like to have a time in there, I can go back and try to, uh, to figure yeah, out. I, yeah, I, 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 I saw that. I think we could piece that together. Because okay. when, when, they, when they took the break in the presentation, they said what time it was going to start. And then I know how long the second part of the presentation was. And then that's when the meeting started. Okay. So, yeah. It, Thanks, yeah, Steve. I, I'll get Yeah, I'll get that to you here in a little bit. All right, Steve. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate that. Yeah, it was after 8 p.m., but I don't know how far after. Yeah. yeah. I, 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 could, I could get a, 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 a close cool. enough time that we could justify how we came up with the time. All right. Um, let's look. Uh, we're notwithstanding the time. Let's look at what I want to make sure that we're all in agreement is uh, the sequencing and the statements within the minutes. Because uh, if we ever do get called on this, I want it to be that the the minutes stand, and that there there's no question or debate on our minutes and and how they and how we recorded our activities. That's really what I was trying to get so uh, we can make that uh, apparent. Sure. Uh, I did ask you if there was a quorum. John made the motion. Uh, seconded uh, by Jim. Uh, uh, Mary Jean called the question. That was seconded by Mike. Is everyone, that's our, how I remember it. Um, um we called for a roll you, call sorry again, please uh do we want when it says the roll call vote well hold on scroll down a little bit more to see both okay Never yeah mind. so that the vice president called for a roll call vote on previous question Do we want to add in for gross misconduct as determined by the board of directors? Uh, yes, ma'am. the vote part? Yes, ma'am. So, Perry, an edit would be on that, that first ask for a roll call. That first ask for a roll call was on the previous question. And then on the second roll call, uh, uh, Mary Jean is and making a good point that we're adding that the roll call vote on the motion to censor President Ty uh, for gross, con gross misconduct as determined by the board of directors. As determined by a majority of the board of directors. Is yes, sir. Yes, yeah. correct. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to be legalistic here. I just. No, we, we nope. should be technical. It, it, it does require to be technical. All right. So we'll say at the top All here, right. Vice President Joe Plunk asked for a roll call vote on calling the previous question. And then in the next vote, we'll say for gross misconduct as determined by a majority of the board of directors. All right. We had the motion by John and the second by Jim. I recorded that Joe asked if there were any discussion and then uh, Mary Jean called the previous question, second by Jim. Uh, Ty was talking, I think out of order, but I did record what he wrote. Um, I think he was out of order, but I did write down um, what was the that's in red. He did call a point of order. Uh, and I think interest, right? He said the word interest, interest. So 
Yeah, it was it was interest, yeah. not order. Yeah. Which I'm One pretty sure switch. per Robert's rules, unless he, I mean, you, anytime as chairman of the meeting, you made a rule on that, that you would address that after the vote. And so the only yep. thing that should have, could have happened differently is if he would have appealed your decision to wait to respond to him. I'm pretty sure. So, okay. um, I mean, I, that could probably be in there and be fine. So what would you like? And, and, and that's, say that's his... So what would you like for it to say? Is that adequate or do you want to add anything to that? I mean, I think that's fine. Okay. Um, all right. But that's up to y'all too. I, I... I think that's appropriate. That was, okay. uh, that is exactly what happened. That's exactly the ruling of the chairman at the time that was running the meeting. It's exactly the minute of what happened. So I, I, there's no, uh, that, that's correct. All right. So based on the last, uh, I'll amend this sentence here to say, ask for a roll call vote on the previous question is what that will say. And then we have the vote on the previous question. And then we have a roll call vote on the motion to remove Ty as president and then the results of that. Um, I would clarify, since he said point of interest, I would go back in the bottom red part to say point of interest as well, instead of point of order. Yeah. All right. Thank you, Mary Jean. Good observation. And that would also be. It was trustee, the, not uh, director of repeaters. All right. So we had the roll call vote, and then we have the roll call vote on the motion to remove Ty as president. Um, I just highlighted the next paragraph just to um, make sure everybody could see that. And uh, so, to Mary Jean's over. point, that would also that would also be point of interest. I'm sorry. Go ahead, John. Oh, uh, you know, Joe Lowenthal mentioned that uh, uh, former. Uh, uh, Barry McDonald was repeater trustee, not director of repeaters. Right. I may have said director of repeaters in the meeting. Okay. But All right. it, 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 that's fine. His proper title, he is the trustee of the club call. Gotcha. You might put in parentheses trustee for clarification. Yeah, that could that could work. We, yeah, we could, we could. Yeah, that's fine. I'll do that. We all knew what was inferred. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, it's. This president said that discrimination board, this term of that was gross misconduct. Are there any objections or clarifications to the statement there that, uh, it was the determination, it was not the determination of the board that, uh, and it was our determination that obviously we, we did feel that it was gross misconduct. Uh, is there any clarification to that? And I have an audio tape. I can play that if anyone would like to hear it. Um, as long as everyone's good and we feel comfortable with it, I think we're good. Yeah, I'm good with it. Yes, people speaking out of turn and so forth, but uh, all 
or then John moved to adjourn. There was a second, which I could not hear on the tape. I think that was Jim. But actually, I, actually, I think that might have been Mary Jean. It might have been. I can't remember. <laughs> yeah. I don't actually uh, remember. I was shaking like a leaf. <laughs> all I know is I saw you snap your fingers. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I better move to adjourn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, Hold on, I can listen to it. Uh -oh. Yeah, it's on video and I have an audio recording. <laughs> it's just not on there who made the second, but I do hear you, uh, Joe, saying that it's seconded. So, uh, we may need to, um, uh, I'd like to get that. We may need to, uh, uh either, uh, we may do. We may need to look at the. We may need to look at the video as well to try to uh, ascertain that. Yep. I did second the adjournment. Okay. Okay. Thank right. You, right. There was a lot. The emotions were high. It was very traumatic. You know. Hey Perry, if you can, if when you get a chance, send me if you. If, if you could send me what you've got, your audio, I might could use my video program that cleans up audio a little bit, see if that helps. Okay. And and if I can do that, then I'll I'll uh use your if your video is better than what's on the if your audio is better than what's on the video, I think I can uh you know replace yours to match with the video and we'll have a better uh record on both sides. Okay. All um, right. This is kind of a handheld thing. I don't yeah, know if I yeah. have that ability, but we'll see what we can do. Yeah, yeah. We'll just see if that's any better. And like I said, if you're if it's a little between the two, we'll see if we can can piece together what what we're missing. Fair enough. Like I said, I've got I've got <laughs> nothing fancy, and I don't really know how to use it, but I've got some software <laughs> that can kind of clean up some stuff. There you go. All right. So we have the motion um, to adjourn and the vote on that. And again, it, if the ending time of the meeting is important, we can try to extrapolate that from uh, from the video. Yeah, my, my wife also recorded, right. the recorded video of um, of the second half of the meeting, and she may have some may have a, a date and time on that or timestamp on that. So here, here's what I'd like to do with the minutes as they as they stand right now, uh, everyone on the board. I'd like for us to uh, approve the minutes as they are, and then at the next board meeting we can uh, then um, to pick because we're going to pick this information up out. I would move that at the next board meeting someone on the board can come back and move to amend the minutes before they're actually uh approved by the membership any objections to that any thoughts on that well can perry clean up uh mary jean and the in the trustee area and that way all we'll have is the time and or put in yeah i, I was assuming that that would be done yeah. the only two missing pieces would be the the time of the beginning and the time of the ending. Right. Yeah, I've already made those changes on my computer. I just can't. I'm not editing it on the computer. I'm using the Zoom because I didn't think I'd be able to do both at the same time. But those okay. changes have been made. Thank you, Perry. Thanks, Joe. Appreciate Thank you getting you. back with me. All right, so I would like to hear a motion to approve the minutes. I make like a motion that we approve the minutes as read. All right. And amended. A second. I second. I'm sorry, Perry. Uh, John Reiner seconded that. You were going to say, Perry? 
I was going to say, would it be, would uh, Mike be interested in amending his motion to say the minutes as, you know, edited during our conversation? Mike, would you be amenable to that? Yes. Uh, so what what is it, the motion again, Perry, you want? Just to accept the minutes. Um, as amended? As amended. Yes, thank you. Okay, I, I move that, I make a motion that we approve the minutes as uh, amended. Second. Uh, John, do you still I second? second? I do. Okay, John. All right. Um, are there any, uh, uh, I'll work this opposite. Are there any opposed to approving the minutes? Please say no. All right. All in favor, please say aye. 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 All right. The motion to approve the minutes carries. All right. I'm going to share my screen out real quick and let's buzz through a couple of these other little things that I want to try to knock out real quick, if we don't mind. All right, can everyone see that? Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Uh, real quick, um, I, I would like to try to put together and formulate an email that we send out to the membership. Um, I don't know that it needs to be terribly complex or uh, intimately detailed, but I would like to put a, a note out to the membership so that the, the membership does hear from us as a unified board, uh, including the membership that wasn't at the membership meeting, because there are still a fair number of members that weren't at the membership meeting. Um, I'd also, in that same email, like to list that we do have some open positions that uh, I haven't looked at uh, really filling the vice president yet. We're still got to fill the trustee, and I still need to find a PIO. Uh, so I would open up and kind of talk through kind of the, uh, the topic around kind of creating that email out to our membership. So the, the floor would be open to kind of discuss that. Um, I've already been kind of working on this and, uh, basically all I have so far is, uh, dear Delta club, uh, uh, dear Delta amateur radio club members. This is to let you know that on Tuesday, March 12th, the Delta Club President Ty McMahon, KX4MQ, was censured unanimously by the Board of Directors for Gross Misconduct and Performance of Official Duties. As a result, Ty McMahon was removed as president, and according to the club's bylaws, Joe Plunk, M4SE, is now president of the Delta Amateur Radio Club. We thank Ty for his contributions to the club and at the same time, look forward to working with Joe on many new and exciting initiatives. I haven't put anything about open opportunities. Okay. And it's in his by the way. Go ahead, Mary Do Jean. we want to mention the, um, that a, there was a vote by the club membership affirming yep. that since there was I do I think that, like that that is an important point so thank you uh, for pointing that out Mary absolutely. Jean absolutely I do like that that's well worded simple you know we don't need a lot but just simple and, it's the facts and just the facts yeah yeah yeah, yeah as long as it's the facts we can't risk libel or slander or whatever you know as long as it's the truth which it is so how about right. uh, adding the line uh the delta club membership in attendance voted overwhelmingly uh to support this decision mm. with with some naysayers there were at least right. two that did not affirm Four, four so it was people not, that I counted out of about 40. Um, so four people said no. Right. Hey, Joe, was it four? Because you know, like the, the, the some yeah. of them said they didn't like the way that it was done, but they agreed with what was no, done. It, uh, Joe Tomboli, Bill Hancock, 
uh, Ned Savage, and Dan uh, Werner. Lynn said he saw Dan Werner say no. Yeah, I think I think okay. some kind of went back on what they on their original uh, <clears throat> their original statement that they didn't agree, and instead said that um, they didn't agree with how it was done, but that they supported the the decision that was made. Right, yeah, I, that's that what I remember. Out. I remember there being two, but I think there were. Well, what if we said with a few objections, the motion passed? I, I, by I the think that's you know? a fair way to say it. Okay. Yes. Mary Jean, I think that's a fair way to say it. You could say a few objections with overwhelming approval. Because it was. We had, what, 62 about, people? Yeah. 64 sign ins at the time. Sign door. in, and it dropped off to probably 40 by the time we got to the vote. No, I'm sorry. And going going back, um, do we need to state that that the decision by the board was made by a majority of the board and not all of the board? And you know, any was made, that was made. The the decision by the board was unanimous. Wow. Per our bylaws, he could not. Well. Per our bylaws, he could not vote in that oh, oh, as right. the topic of the. The um, trustee was not there. Yeah. But because the trustee was uh, appointed presidentially, I'm not sure he would have been able to have voted. Uh, well, he, he would have had a he, he, he would. Okay. He would he would have had a vote. Yes. Um. What if you so said to, to that the majority? Point, um, or quorum. I mean, we had quorum. It was, yeah. it was, you know, unanimous of the quorum that was there. I mean, we can say the facts, which is it was unanimous of all, it was unanimous of all present board men. Yeah. All. It was unanimous by all present board members. Yep. That is a fact. Yep. So just real quick, while John's retyping that for just a second, what is the board's feeling? And I'm, I don't want to just to drag out too terribly long. What is the feeling of the board of sending this out to the membership? I don't have a problem with it. I think it's a good idea. But only only to the members, not to not to the whole e uh, Sparks email list. Yes, that yes, that is correct. I agree with that. Yeah. Uh, do we have that list differentiated? You have it in the uh, uh, membership roster. Okay. Um, would y'all object? Can we put the letter in, um, in, like, onto since we all have the Gmail stuff? Can we put that into a Google document to look at? I mean, would that be okay? Absolutely. Uh, John, you want to uh, log into the Delta Club uh, and then uh, you can share that out. Or I can throw it in a, uh, I don't have it, what you type, but uh, we throw it in a Google Doc. All righty. Let's, this may take a few minutes. Um, Let's see. While John's doing that, why don't you go over and continue on? Uh, all right, we'll come. We'll circle back around to the email. Hey, uh, another topic. Hey, Jim, we need to talk to the bank. Yes. Um, and we need to let them know that the current signature, or at least one of them, has been removed, and we need to find out what it's going to take to remove him without him being present. Yeah, that that probably will have to be the, the minutes of our of our board meeting will.
probably need to be printed on official letterhead, official club letterhead, and provided to okay. the bank. So I will, um, I'll take what Perry has, you know, his his final revision and put that on letterhead with our logo and uh, and meet with somebody at the bank to have that get to have uh, okay our past president removed, and then you and I can uh, meet at some point. Uh, I don't know if you're available this week. I'm I'm off call yep. this week, so I should be able to step away um, when when you're available to okay. uh, meet at the meet at the bank, and and we can have you added. What bank do we need to be at? What location? Um, we've typically used the Regions Bank on um, on Stage Road here in Bartlett. Um, it's between uh, Merlet Boulevard and Kirby Witten. Okay. May I uh, all something? right, just, uh... yes, sir. Uh, the bank is probably going to want a resolution by the board to make the changes in the signatories. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly what they're going to require. So that's one of the things that I would ask Jim is uh, reach out to them and ask them what they're going to require. Because it's probably we're going to have a higher we're going to have a little bit higher burden uh, than if the person was present to remove themselves. We're, we're going to have to have a little bit higher burden. And I don't know what burden the bank's going to require. So the first right. step that I would ask is just reach out to them and ask them, OK, hey, we've had the have this happen uh what is the burden and then we may based on what you call back we may have to have another little quick five minute meeting as a board to uh, to make a resolution approve something final approve or whatever we need to do so that we can uh achieve the burden for the bank requirement question ken do you have that yes, verbiage to where we could possibly do that today Oh, golly gee, it's been years and years since I did that. Uh, I do not have that wording, no. Okay. Well, I don't I don't think we'll need it. Um, last time we were in there, we had to get David Jackson off without him being there to get Jim on. And what they said is that um, they took the, uh, the newsletter. So Sparks with the minutes would help, but like, what they did say ultimately is that it would have done the job just to have something on the club letterhead. Yeah. And so I would think right. given off what we, all the stuff that we've dealt with, with the bank, like if we, if, you know, let's say Jim is a treasurer since he's on there typed up a letter that said, this is what happens. This is what we need to do. We don't want, you know, any issues or something. He could do that on letterhead. He could take in the copy of the minutes that were approved today and it might not hurt to go on and have um, a list of the spot, like a Sparks newsletter that actually shows where Joe had been in there as vice president. So that way that, that, you know, yet one more thing to kind of show that, that he was actually in that vice president role. And I think that should do it. Like they didn't, I mean, they didn't think it was the issue is that like we had folks, you know, forgetting different information and this and that and, and all that, but it seems like they just want something on letterhead. Yeah, um, they, they just want a paper trail. That's right. They, they want a, they want right. a, they yeah. want their paper trail so that they can they can come back and say, here's the paper trail that we were given. And that's why I think it's just probably best to just reach out to the bank, Jim, and just ask what what is the burden they require, and then we'll fulfill the burden, whatever that's whether the minutes on letterhead or letter of statement or whatever that burden may be. Uh, they're going to have to tell us what it is rather than just us showing up and saying, okay, surprise, what do we need to do? Right. Let's just make a quick phone call to them. Say, Hey, this is what's happened. Here's what's going to, what, what do I need? What do I need to bring to you to accomplish the task that I need to get done? All right. I will reach out. Report back. To, yeah. I'll reach, I'll reach yeah. out to who, I, who I've been working with in the past. Um, my name is Kendall uh, and, yep. and get, and get that, uh, that list from her or get the, the requirements from there. Absolutely. And then the third, the last thing on the topic of the bank, uh, in the mm -hmm. one of the past board meetings, we had, a, we as a board had said we were going to put a third individual on the bank. 
and I don't remember who that individual was. I think it was oh, that, the secretary. That was, that's gonna be you. Yeah, so it was uh, I was vice president. the president, Okay. vice president, and treasurer would be on the Treasure. account. Okay. All right, so we'll we'll fulfill that when we fill the new vice president slot. All right. Uh, any uh, any conversation or other uh, meeting points on the bank topic for Jim? All right. Uh, moving on. Uh, Jim, um, I would like for us to go ahead and get our Secretary of State stuff done a little early. I know we don't have to do that early. I'd like to just check that box and get it checked so that there's no ambiguity around that that, that box is checked. Uh, I think you said it was like an e-postcard or something really, really straightforwardly simple. Uh, the e-postcard was for the IRS uh, filing and that, and that was completed. Okay. Um, can I, can I share my screen real quick? Absolutely. Okay. Uh, I'm going to need you to, to approve my share. All right, there you go. Okay. All right, so this is what the annual report looks like. Can everybody see my screen? No. Oh, no, you can't yet. I'm sorry, I didn't hit share. There we go. How about now? Yes. Yep. Okay. All right, so uh, I just I took some screenshots out of the uh, the actual annual report um, website. Mm. So it does ask for these four officers. Um, so I'm going to need, we're, we're going to have to, I don't know, I guess I can, I can just delete vice president for now. President, I'll have Joe Plunk, treasurer, James Martin, secretary, Perry Hayes. Um, and I guess it would probably be better to have that position filled. So I will yeah. try, we'll, we'll do that after the next meeting, I guess. Any, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go no, ahead. that's fine. So, so do you want me to, or, or do you, do you Do you think it is all right to just wait for our next meeting or, or, or wait until we fill this position? Um, the the due date on this is 4-1. However, um, they do give you a, um, they do give us a, a little leeway, I guess. It's not, you know, it's not, it doesn't have to be done by that date. We've, we've filed past that before and it hasn't been a problem. Uh, I do not want to be late this year. Uh, so I will start looking for a candidate uh, to fill the vice president role and find uh, if they are willing to take that role and circle back to the board. Uh, we'll have to have, I'll, I'll call a special board meeting for just that uh, appointment. It'll take 15 minutes tops so that we can fill that slot. We don't have to have to have an empty name there to fill that out. Um, so I will take that as an action item to get that done um, before the 4-1 deadline. Okay. All right. Hey, I've uh, I've oh. shared that. Uh, I've got a question on that. Uh, Jim, shouldn't you modify the 990N for the IRS since Ty's name is on it as president? Ah, uh, yes, it does have Ty's name. Good call there, Mr. Lowenthal. Um, I will look into seeing what we, you know, what we need to do or as an amendment to the 990 for the IRS. Thank you, Joe. Thank you, Jim. And then the uh, the next screen asks for our directors. So I'll, I will go through and make all the change, necessary changes here. Uh, but we can discuss this further if we need to when, when we add a, a proper vice president. Uh, I would not put uh, the PIO on it since that is not a voting voting position okay um i simply uh you know, I made changes to what was previously in there when i took over as treasurer so i've just updated the the same fields yeah, yeah. but i i would agree Fair enough. that uh, um that pio is not a because it's not a voting member that they're not a director Okay, that's all I had. All right. The share back out this. Uh...
Uh, I'm going to skip seven for just a second. Uh, I, I'd like to uh, put to the board, we don't have to do, do it today. I'm really just kind of loading the topic for just a moment. Uh, I'll probably stand this committee up uh, at our next formal board meeting. Uh, but it'll give, uh, I, I do it. Want to ask Mary Jean to head this committee again? I do want to put a bylaws committee back together. Uh, uh, I'll give Mary Jean a little bit of time to uh, kind of gather, but I do want to put that together at the next board meeting. So we'll pull that together in April. I'm kind of giving an early topic uh, heads up on this. Uh, we we have discovered that we have a little bit of bylaws work that we need to get done. Uh, so Mary Jean has very graciously agreed to kind of step in and. and take that on. Uh, she's kind of our de facto parliamentarian as well. So uh, thank you, Mary Jean, for that. Uh, I won't pull that today, but uh, that's more of just a guidance that that's coming in uh, April. Um, um, moving if, to nine, I want to, any questions on that? Any observations on that? I do have a question. Would y'all, it, if, if it's fine with you guys and y'all wanted to go on and appoint that today, um, that would be fine with me. Okay. Unless there's a reason we need to wait. No, I just didn't, I didn't want to put you on the spot without too much warning. That was the only reason. Uh, if there is no objection, I would like to have Mary Jean, uh, Mary Jean Hall, KY4FB, uh, form a, a bylaws committee for the Delta Amateur Radio Club and pull that committee together with the uh, understanding of updating and uh, amending our current bylaws to eliminate some of the uh, issues and challenges that we've discovered over the last few months. Second. All right. Uh, any objection to that committee being formed? Uh, all right. Uh, all in favor of that committee being formed, please say aye. Aye. Uh, Aye. Uh, all opposed? Hearing none, the motion does carry. So we now have a bylaws committee standing now. Uh, Mary, Mary Jean, um, let us know how we want to pull committee members into that meeting, and we'll give you our full support. Appreciate that. For sure. Um, Joe, I had reached out to you before this meeting and asked about errors and omissions insurance. I do think that as a board, we do probably want to start carrying errors and omissions insurance. Uh, it's a standard thing that a lot of boards carry. It shouldn't be terribly expensive, but I don't know how it much expensive it is. I'd like for you, uh, I had asked Joe if you would reach out to like three uh, insurance brokers and get three quotes. Um, we may already have some provisions in our current liability insurance. I don't know, uh, but I, I do think we want to specifically carry an errors and omissions policy. Uh, so I don't know um, if that, I'll be able to I'm, get three quotes because most of the companies will want us to have liability, uh, liability insurance with them as well as uh, the errors and omissions. Uh, but I will, I will, I've got, uh, I'm, I've gone to our ARRL broker and asked them for clarification on the uh, Hanover Insurance uh, in Section uh, 2.1.D. It, it references uh, officers and directors. Uh, so I want to see if, if we have coverage under that. If not, what it'll take to get coverage through them. I've called uh, Collier already. And they're supposed to get back with me this week. And I've got another name to, to call to see if uh, we can get it. But having okay. having grown up in an insurance uh, household, I don't think uh, uh, an errors and omissions policy will be rendered if you don't have other insurance with the company. I understand. But we can still get uh, quotes on the package from three different companies. Just to, it might not be a bad thing to have. Okay. I'd like to see three if possible, please. Understanding okay. that we will probably have to end up going with who currently has our liability. 
Um, you said you had a document that you were looking at from our current liability. Uh, Jim you Martin the policy. Jim Martin uh, sent it to me. Uh, okay. Yesterday, or All right. last, last night. Friday. Friday. Right. Uh, one of the things that it's not on the topic for today, but we'll t we'll talk about it in a, a future point. I do want to try to uh, to bring us a little closer yeah. together and dive into really leveraging the, the the Google Workspace environment so that we've got shared documents and a document repository so that uh, we don't have individual knowledge that might be lost should we lose an individual or not know of something. I'm not going to try to solve or peel that onion today. Uh, that's just some, something coming up in the future. We've got this wonderful tool that Google has made available to nonprofits. Um, and I think we should really work towards leveraging that, that, that tool that has been made available. All right. Uh, Joe, the other thing I had wanted to ask you real quick was some of the repeater documentation. Uh, you'd ask about changing the time. Uh, I hear that the time has been changed. I'd like to understand that process and just get that documented and, and written down. Now, that may be a document that Barry had, has previously made and already created. I just want to get that into uh, someone's hands in a written format. Were you able to accomplish that? Uh, yes. Uh, Rick Tillman. Okay, so we do have our... okay. fantastic. And then the other thing that we will need to do, and I don't know the status of this, was I don't know the transition. Uh, there was some stuff that Barry had that he was going to hand off, and that probably has gotten sidetracked and not completed. Uh, at some point, we'll need to complete that that handoff and that uh, that tr transition and, and uh, pass over to the next person, whoever that may be. Does anybody have any update or status on what the where does Barry still have all that information? I'm assuming that he does. I believe he does have the manuals, and that has okay. the the time change as well in it. Okay, fair enough. Uh, real quick, I haven't forgotten about seven. I'll come back to that in a minute. Uh, April program, John, we've got that lined up because I do want to try to do uh, make sure we all understand what it is so we can start talking it up. I do. Ham Hilliard is going to do a presentation about Armed Forces Day and kind of tie in Mars a little bit with that. And then I'm going to talk about uh, some of the cool new radios that are out on the market and go through some programming and how to program those uh, HTs. Okay. Fantastic. Sounds like a fun program lined up. Do we need to mention uh, field day? I'll be happy to incorporate field day into my spiel. And um, probably will be one of the participants in field day the way things are looking. So, Are we going to join so with, a couple uh, of the Shoba for field day? I haven't heard otherwise. That's what we've done in years past. Um, I know that we've had a member that uh, has expressed interest in solar and uh, digital in the past and um, have not heard much from that member. Uh, so I can reach out to that member and see if, if, if he's still willing to do field day this year. If not, I'll be happy to grab my stuff and go. It's, it's ready at a moment's notice. So, so we may need to put together and it might be a fun way to accomplish this just with all the other things that have been distractions to throw together hey anybody interested in a field day committee here's a, a committee let's throw a committee out there and say hey come join field day and let's talk about it one other thing about field day joe is i know that germantown is going to be doing some construction in the municipal park um in the month of may and june uh so we may need to reach out to and make sure that that's still a viable location uh, via our contacts that we have for that location. Yeah, Fred Miller with the uh, Neshoba Club is typically uh, headed up the field day uh, festivities in the past. And it actually goes through the Germantown Fire Department. I was going to say, doesn't that go through Jelly? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
I wish we could go back to the horse arena. I like that venue. <laughs> Uh, I'll have to reach out to, uh, Mike about website and, uh, updating the ARRL website as well. Not sure what the status of all of that will be, but we'll need to talk through that. As long as Joe, I can talk you through updating that. Okay. Uh, you uh, just have to be one of the officers on it to get into it. Okay. I think I am. Uh, with, uh, with that, with, if, if anyone doesn't have any objections, I'll work with Joe Lowenthal and we will get the ARRL website updated. Um, the update for the Delta Club website, uh, does anyone have any thoughts or updates or suggestions as to how we want to update the Delta Club site other than just move people around? If it's okay with Mike, I would almost say, I mean, if it's not been done already, I would go on and do the first phase, and then we can fill in the vacancies as we get those filled, yeah. you know. All right. Yeah. yeah. So the only place that uh, I think needs to be updated is the, what, the uh, bios? Mm. Um, Because we don't really say anything about, we use Sparks as the, method to communicate the board of directors right yeah we just got static we just got our static board of directors on the website yeah so I, yeah I'll update, I'll update the bios. The, yeah i'll update the bios and then of course i'll update the sparks with the uh, with the changes as well All right uh all right i uh We'll move into. I was so trying to be done in an hour and it's going to run long. I'm sorry, guys and gals. Oh, uh, Scott, we've already appointed, so that's already done. Let's talk about immediate past president. I think Mary Jean, you've got some observations and thoughts on this, please. Yeah, I'm going to do a screen share. If uh, yeah. Okay, so um, one thing that uh, came to me this week and I started wondering if we had anything in our bylaws that uh, clarified, even though Ty was removed, if he was going to be the immediate past president or not. And so uh, I have looked through and combed through um, our bylaws and it's very vague. The only thing really that mentions immediate past president is the very first part. Uh, right here in 4.1.1 that says the immediate past president is on the officers uh, of the or one of the officers of the board of directors. Nowhere else, uh, when you go all the way down here um, under removal from office, it does not clarify anything. And even expulsion for membership, which we did not do, doesn't have any of that. And so what I have been doing um, and even this morning, I've been trying to comb through and read through Robert's rules to see, and there is nothing. Basically, what it sounds like is that Robert rule, Robert's rules assume that the bylaws would have it clarified that um, if someone is removed, then they would not qualify as the immediate past president. So um, I've got uh, one person that I would like to reach out to uh, to know for sure, um, but uh, I think... Uh, Unless that they can say something different, um, I believe that we might need to to reach out to Ty and let him know uh, that he is in some form or fashion that he is the immediate past president, uh, and then I would not be a voting member of this board anymore. Uh, but I, again, I, I would like to to look into one more thing before we say for sure, and that's why I didn't want to say anything uh, for certain before. Um, this meeting, but uh, that is what it's leaning towards. And I'm going to try to reach out to a, a registered parliamentarian if he's still in the area to see if he can confirm or deny this. Okay. So if you'll, uh, if you will let the board know by uh, email, electronic means uh, on that, we will uh, pending your update on that, then we'll have to take action based on your update. So I appreciate that. All right. 
All right, let me share this back out real quick because I did want to do this, share this. So the last topic that I've got on the, the agenda of what I wanted to try to get through is the uh, the accounts that I that are in our Google workspace, deltaclub.org. Uh, I uh, suspended the president trustee and the repeater committee people that have resigned. Um, I have not to this time logged into those accounts just because I did not want to be the sole person that logged into that account. So with that being said, what I was going to do is I was going to reset the password, unspend the account, and log into that account, and we can see if there's anything that we need to review as a board in the president's account. Pending no uh, information in there that needs to be dealt with, then I would basically reset the password back to a password for um, the president and then continue and then begin using that as the president of the Delta Club. Is there any uh, uh, observations or comments on that thought path? I think that's a very transparent way of doing it. Yeah, and very necessary. All right, um, for just a second, um, I'm uh, uh, while, I, while I'm, I'll pause the share for just a second while I go reset that password. Um, and I'll set that password and then log into uh, not really wanting to re reveal some of my passwords. Let me uh, pause the share for just a second um, and reset that password and come back in and log into that account. Has anybody and been John looking was, at, the, at the Delta Club W4BS at gmail.com lately? I was kicked out of it and I was using it to re reviewing it for uh, people inquiring about training. Uh, that account, to my knowledge, is being uh, reviewed. And that account, to my knowledge, was forwarded to multiple deltaclub.org emails. Uh, I can double check all of that, Joe. Okay. Um, post meeting. Um, John, do you want to share the email right quick while I go do some uh, account work? And uh, y'all can talk about that real super quick. Uh, okay, yeah, hang on. Can you yes, increase sir. the font? Back down some. You're, it's cut off a little bit. All right. How's that? Okay. This is all I have so far. This is to let you know that on uh, Tuesday, March 12th, Delta Club President Ty McMahon, KX4MQ, was censured unanimously by the Board of Directors Present. Present should be lowercase. For gross misconduct and performance of official duties. As a result, Ty McMahon was removed from, uh, I guess. He's removed should... as from president. Yeah. So I was editing this as we went. Yeah. Uh, while there were a few objections, the Delta Club members in attendance voted to affirm the board's decision, and that should be lower cases. Well, according to Delta Club's bylaws, Joe Plunk, M4SE, is now president of the Delta Amateur Radio Club. We thank Ty for his contributions to the club, and at the same time, look forward to working with Joe on many new and uh, exciting Oh. and exciting an issue um it's uh just real quick it's in s or e ah uh, my bad my bad no worries
That's right. Poor Echo. <laughs> Should I right. Any observations, comments, thoughts on this, uh, ladies and gentlemen? I think in the second sentence, it kind of sounds like because we censured him, he was removed as president. So we might just say the board then, the board members present then voted unanimously to remove Ty McMahon as president. And I think his name is spelled M.C. M A H A N, I think. Okay. I love it, John. It just kind of sounds like before we censured him, he was removed. And I guess if we're being technical, um, my question will be: the member is going to say, "Well, what was the gross misconduct?" They can call us personally, and <laughs> we'll tell them. I don't know. Should gross misconduct be capitalized? Probably. Second, second line. Yeah. And I, I think to, to Joe's point and John, I think that's a valid point to put in here. Um, I think at some point we do want to put in there that if additional, if anyone has additional questions, please re reach out to any individual board member. I think that's a valid point, Joe. Right. Um, they're going to want to know. They are going to want to know what the gross misconduct is, and they don't need to really know that. That was a determination that the board made. But to the point, they can certainly reach out to any board member and uh, inquire us for more specifics. Did that kind of address the comment uh, that you had, Joe? Yes. Do we want to say questions or concerns? Because like some who, you know, that might make them feel better for some who didn't like how it went down, but um, I So if anyone has specific questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to any current board, any uh, of the current board members. Are you opening that in regular word now? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a live document. There was some discussion before about how many people were there. I went back through, looked at the video. I panned around the, the whole room, you know, when, after that was announced, there was 30 people all, you know, there was, there was one or two people. I wasn't sure were members like Jim's, you know, Jim's wife. Uh, and there's one or two that may have been behind the pole there in the corner, but I can definitely identify 30 that were there. So if y'all want to put that in there to show, more specifically what the response was you know the other thing is we did have a few uh members walk out uh prior to affirming this action not enough to swing the majority but so, uh, yeah yeah well yeah Because you could take that as as disagreeing, but they they had they had the chance to stay and and they they, they chose not to. Right. And I know there was one that wouldn't have disagreed, but I think there were a couple that would have. So you know, and I think we did have some people that had to leave early because they had other commitments. So I I wouldn't take everybody that walked out as being in disagreement. I would say that you know there I know yeah. at least one person at my table that was unable to stay for the entire program. Oh yeah. Yeah. No, no, I agree with that. I, Cause there, there was, I mean, the room was full during the, the mm -hmm. presentation because of who it was. And a lot of people, you know, it was getting kind of later in the day, later in the evening. Some people left because the presentation was over and they thought it was going to be normal business. It was after nine. 
Well, it was going back, no, it was after eight. It was after eight. Going back to that, I'm I I'm feel real confident that I can say the board meeting started at eight fifteen and it lasted five minutes. Thank you, Steve. Okay. Because the but before the break in the presentation, I'm showing 37 minutes of the presentation. And Ty said, hey, let's take an eight minute break. And that makes sense because that put us at 45 after the hour, an easy time to, to, to start the meeting again. And then there was 30 more, exactly 30 more minutes of the presentation. So that puts us at, at seven. Um, at 8.15. At 8.15, at 8.15. And it was a four, I think, what, a four minute meeting or less. Yeah, it was, it yeah, about it was four quick. and a half minutes, so five minutes. Well, yeah, four, four minutes, it took me a, 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 you know, a little bit to walk over there. Then y'all hadn't quite started the meeting. So if you want to be technical, it was four minutes. So we'll say eight ten to eight fifteen, Steve. You think that's fair? Eight fifteen to eight twenty. Yeah, eight fifteen to eight twenty. Yeah. All right. Okay. Thank you, Steve, for that. No problem. So, Perry, does that mean that we've got the timestamps uh, in the um, the minutes that we've approved correct now? Yes, sir. Um, fantastic. We'll circle back to that in just a second then. Um, any objections to how we've got this worded uh, now to uh, as an email out to our members? I would still like to work on that second sentence. So instead of as a result, uh, um, we could add something in there that the board members present unanimously voted. Right. To move time and uh, make this president. To censure, vote it, to censure the president. That's the first sentence. And then due, due, due to the... The, so I think the 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 verbiage there and Perry may help me out here a little bit. What what we've got is we've got a cause and effect uh, because of the censure, and um, it was due to being censured, the board decided to remove Ty McMahon as president. Yeah, I just felt like the way it read, it just sounds like, you know, when you censure someone, then they are removed from the board. And I guess I just wanted to make it clear there were two different votes. Okay, let's see if this looks any better. And for consistency, should we always yeah, uh, two asses. Okay. Cap capitalize the B in board? Does that, would everybody agree that whether we state board of, board of directors or board members that the B in board should be capitalized? Or does that matter? I'll go with it. Okay. Places more emphasis on this. So due to the censure, the board members present voted unanimously to remove Ty McMahon as president. You have board board's decision probably needs to be capitalized if we're capitalizing it okay fifth sentence fifth line gotcha is the only Chevrolet in the top 15 along with uh, five Toyotas and nine Ford all righty 
So who do I need to get this to to send it out to a mass mailing? For so our one other thing that I'd like to have us see there, look forward to working with Joe and the board on many new and exciting initiatives. Okay. Good call. If any member has specific questions or concerns, please feel to reach out to any of the current board members. Yep. All right. And do we want to put capital B on that? Yeah. If we're being consistent. And is this the communication that we're also going to follow up with, um, you know, with the open positions? Correct. Right. Do we want to, 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 that was the, that was my initial thought as well was to have in this same email saying, uh, you know, since we are sending it to the members saying if with the, uh, it, are there, uh, I don't know how that we would, it may need to be a separate email or the open positions may just be better to wait because the it, it, it would be hard to potentially change the tone of this email. Let's pivot to and say, oh, by the way, we've got open positions. Yeah. Are you I, interested? I, I say separate email or wait. Just yeah. A bit. And then okay. also, if you send an email out, they need the criteria of six meetings, right? They still got to meet the qualifications. Yes. Well, let's just, like you said, let's just run with this one. I mean, I like the idea initially of doing that, but like, and I guess saying it, um, it does seem like it would be better just to address this issue and then start fresh in another one. Wow. So, I think this, so as well. I, I would say this needs to go out yeah. under the Delta Club W4BS Gmail account. Yes, wow. sir. And at some point, we'll start transitioning that in another conversation, but just at another tr point, we'll start transitioning that to an actual Delta Club email. Um, but for, for now, it will need to, it'll be from that account. It can go out to uh, that account because it's less than 500. Absolutely. All right. Uh, John, is that saved as a, a doc? It is. I'll have to upload it to the uh, Google Drive if you want and share it out to everybody. Okay. I'd already done the rough draft that way, but uh, yeah. We need a signature on Fair that, enough. or you know, some type of. I just say I, sign kind, board. kind regards. You know, board of kind directors. regards seven seven three seven three board, uh, Delta Amateur seven three Delta Amateur Radio Club Board of Directors. Good call. Let me share this out, and I promise I want to make this super fast. I'll be very generous with your time. I had not intended to take as much. So this is the email box of uh, president at deltaclub.org. Um, I haven't really opened any of these yet. Uh, we'll take a minute uh, and let everybody kind of take a look. And then we can work down through if we think there's anything that needs to be looked at. Who's Ted on the tax and audit advice? I'm not sure. So 
So this was the email. And then Ty replied back. And then he replied back. Did I move too quickly on that? Was everybody able to read that? Yeah, yeah it just looks like it was about our Form 990 and getting some external auditing done. Enjoy. It's a, a figure of $15,000 there for an initial audit. Yeah. That, wow. Was that? Right there in the, in the fourth paragraph. Oh, uh, yeah. For, for just a basic audit? Yeah. I'm in the wrong, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> Aren't we all? Okay. Uh, any other... Items. Um, seeing this, it and we may have already covered this. I cannot recall. Um, what is the plan to get the information from the repeater committee? Like, is that, I guess is it all saved on here, or do we need to get them some of it? Anything? So some of it is, uh, some of it's right here. Four forty machine has real problems. The four forty okay. machine power amplifier died. It 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 lost one of its final stages and it's not putting out very much. So it's we're gonna have to talk about that. Uh, no, I think they pulled the amplifier off and just put the repeater on low power or mid power. I think they I think they put it on medium power. Is what I heard them say, but I don't know for sure. Uh, the 440 machine definitely needs some love, real quick. I was that was the last topic that I had. Uh, here's the here's one of the docs. This was the document that we've already seen. Uh, Tight notes. Open that one already. Uh, cat repeater testing. Is that audit tax advice copy? There was a uh, I saw some. Oh, here we go. Here's KI4GIU. Here's some pictures. What's the date stamp on those pictures? Do you have it? Looks like March uh, 2nd. March 2nd. This was the okay. weekend. This was the weekend that it was all out there. Now I I will I was out there for most of the day Saturday that they were there. There was a tremendous amount of work that was done. Not gonna cut anybody out of the fact that they did a amazing amount of work. This was the 440 machine. Kind of a fours. I don't have any after pictures. Doesn't look like they sent any of the after pictures in. I could go out there and take some after pictures. Uh, you would not recognize the 440 cabinet. Uh, it's kind of off topic, but you would not recognize it. It's nice and clean. It's tidy. It's effective. The power amplifier did the, its final stage. They did take it out of the picture. One of the cables in connectors arc, so they pulled that and swapped that out. Uh, but let's get back on topic of is there anything in here that anyone wants to dive into or am I, is everyone okay if I reset this and dive into it? And if I find anything interesting, send it out. 
is there anything you about um about meeting with uh with an attorney uh i don't see anything but i tell you what we'll do this is the top of the email pile this is the security alert uh for when i signed in just a minute ago we'll just go through the emails backwards uh Well, and that would have been in February too, correct? <clears throat> right. This is March 12th. And this is the meeting agenda. Uh, we looked at that one. Me. That was that. All right, so this is Matt got these made. All right, I don't see anything in there regarding that. Didn't have who the trustee was on there, did it? It had the contact of uh, repeaters at deltaclub.org. Okay. Uh, so we're at March 2nd. Or it might, it honestly so here, might be here, here, Yeah, I'll go look at that in a second. Here, here's a bunch of images. I can download these. Let me open the file. I don't know if this is in the share or not. Can y'all see those? No. Okay. These are all look like repeater, repeater site images. Okay. I don't know that they're of a of value. I'll I'll try to sift those and provide any insight on those. Uh. Jim. That was from site visit two. Any other oh scent items? Mary Jean wanted to look in the scent items real quick. Yeah, in February. Oh. So you can yeah skip past um draft letter maybe. Okay. There's, there's, uh, uh, there is the. Okay. So 
so there there is the basis for uh, what we all agreed was the gross conduct. Excuse me, make say that correctly. We that was this is uh, the basis of what we all agreed was the gross misconduct, and that gross misconduct was engaging a law firm without the understanding that he was doing so uh, by the board. And good call, Mary Jean, on looking in the synth items. Yeah, and that letter was dated March 1st, which uh, the meeting in which Barry was removed was February 19th. That that really it was just really too quick for anything like that. That's outside of the scope of this, I understand. Um, but, I understand. Um, All right. Um, I, yeah. I will not delete anything out of this account. Right. Um, I can't... Um, Make this account open if anybody wants to look through it. I can send you the current password. It is two-factor protected, so we'll have to work together on that. Uh, I am not opposed to anyone looking through it. Uh, if you do look through it, we're just going to have to make sure you don't delete anything. Uh, for the moment, I have no problems continuing to run through the vice president account for a little while. Is there anyone that wants to look through this account as a board member? I don't. Not right now, no. No. I trust you to look through and handle it as you see fit, Joe. Hey Joe, are okay. you guys going are you guys going to copy all these emails maybe onto a thumb drive or whatever for future reference? Uh, I can archive them off or save them as a archive. I can look at it and investigate what that would be. Um, I just potentially. think that might be wise for later reference. Because once it's gone, you can't get it back. That is a correct statement. Yeah, one of the nice things about the Google Workspace is they don't make you require they don't require you to delete anything. Uh, so I will I will leave it all alone. Um uh, and uh Go from there. All right. Um, why don't I? I can take these emails. Uh, where is that sent item that we had? Let me move this out of the way. What? Uh, where was that email? Uh, it looks like there's three of them, maybe, right? The Peter, no, two. There's two. Peter. Uh, draft letter. What I can do, what I can do with this is I will make sure to archive this message, this whole message string. Um, I can also, as a backup, uh, send this to the. I will forward this string of messages to the secretary's email account. So that there is a copy and forwarded and saved in the secretary account. Uh, is there any preference beyond that having them saved anywhere else other than also having an archive copy? Ken, what what do you think? Ah, uh, that sounds good. I just hate for us to to lose documentation. As long as we've got it saved somewhere else that's accessible when we need to, if we should need to go back and look up something. Understood. I will not delete anything out of the account. And the account has been secured. It was deactivated and suspended the night of uh, the board's action. And has been suspended since then. I only unsuspended it to log in and show the board what was in it. We may want to also look at like things like I'm seeing something about property 
It was something at 5550 Stage Road. Not sure if that's personal business or if that Maybe. Yeah, I'm not sure what this was about. This may have been, uh, yeah, he was looking for somewhere for the club to meet. Okay. So here's the bottom. Office space. Office space. Okay. All right, uh, let me stop this share and switch the share back over to the agenda real quick. And There's the agenda. Here's where we are. We talked about immediate past president. Uh, we've wrapped everything up. Uh, we don't have any board member reports for this meeting. Wasn't expecting any. Uh, we don't have any old business for this meeting. Uh, is there any? I did want to talk real quick. Uh, this is going way longer than I had planned, so I apologize. I really tried to make this quick. Um, we're probably going to need to put at least a power amplifier back on the 440 repeater. Uh, being that it had a power amplifier and that one has passed away. Um, I've been working on trying to find uh, an appropriately uh, spec 440 repeater uh, power amplifier continuous duty. I'll try to bring some of that information to the next board meeting um, for that. Um, I don't think the 440 repeater is not in danger of being compromised or anything. It just can't be heard really well because it's got 500 and some odd feet of seven eighths heliax and it's just a lot of loss at medium power we're only putting about a probably two watts out the top of the tower the eight two repeater is only putting about uh, best estimates probably about eight watts out the top of the tower best estimate worst case it's about five watts both of those repeaters are going to end up needing to really make them a flagship repeater for the organization we're really going to need to put power amplifiers on them not that we're trying to turn them into power blowtorches just to overcome the loss of getting the coax uh, going uphill on the coax. Uh, the 900 feet that the 82 uh, repeater is, uh, is about represents about 6 dBs of loss to get up the tower. Um, so for us to get about 50 watts out, we need to at the base of the tower we need to put in about 250 watts, give or take a few watts. Uh, shoving it uphill to get uh, 50 watts out the top of the tower for 8.2. And we'll have to do the same for a 4.4.3 repeater as well. I'll try to bring some uh, repeater uh, amplifiers to the table uh, in our next meeting. I do want to talk about getting us into Ham Club Online. I think it is a great pl platform for us. Uh, it could it, it, it allows us to take online attendance. It allows us to do renewals. Uh, we can talk about it. Uh, I can do a demo for everybody and uh, to do that. And then uh, I just ask, I really, really, truly ask, go find somebody that you know is not in the club and ask them to join the club. That's all I got. With that, I would entertain a motion to adjourn unless there's any other topics for conversation. So move. Second. I just, I, real quick, I just right. want to. I just want to thank everybody for for being available today and Joe for pulling us all together and for taking on the role as, as president now. I know that, that you've uh, taken on more than you had, had expected. So thank you. For uh, well, second. <laughs> well, thank you all. And I, I, I appreciate that. Uh, let me, uh, I do, I would love some, uh, and I'd give some feedbacks, but let me, uh, are we all, if y'all just hold on for a minute, is everybody in favor of adjourning? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. Aye. Aye. All right. All right. No, any opposed? All right. Let me wrap up the meeting. Where's the stop button? Stop share. And hold.
still learning Zoom. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm.